Welcome back to our channel, we are Holiday with the Heathers. As you can see from the clip in this video, we are about to check in to the Doubletree by Hilton West Times Square Hotel in Manhattan, New York City. We have booked a standard king size accessible room. At the time of this booking, we weren't sure if we had an accessible room, but my husband kindly requested one. Now let's get into the room tour. We are staying in room 3603 on the 36th floor of the Doubletree by Hilton Hotel, West 40th Street, Times Square, New York City. As you enter the room, you will see the room is absolutely huge. Starting off from the main door, you can see there is a sign on the door that states your evacuation plan. So I'll just hold it here, you may want to pause it if you are staying in room 3603. And to the right of the door, there is two double switches. And then as I spin the camera around, you will see there is a wall light on the wall. So as you walk in, you won't be in darkness. Following on from the door is the bathroom, but I will show you that last. And next to the bathroom is the thermostat because at the moment the weather is really cold so you're going to want to make sure that your temperature is right up but to be honest it's actually nice and fresh in here but in those summer months New York can get extremely hot so it's nice to know that you do have air conditioning here at this hotel. Following on from the bathroom and the main door you can see there is a massive space where you could leave your suitcases it's kind of like your own mini entrance to your hotel but if I spin the camera around you can see there is a very large mirror on the wall for you to check your outfits before you go out on one of your fancy New York nights out. Just want to say hello to everyone. We are Holiday with the Heathers if you are new to our channel. So thank you for coming to our channel. If you really, really have enjoyed this video at the end, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you are new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to keep up to date with all of our content, we post on Wednesdays at six and occasionally on Sundays at six. So please hit that bell icon just here to keep up to date with when we post. And let's get into the rest of the room tour. Next to the full length mirror, you will see there is a very large doorway entrance. This is known as a conjoining door. This hotel has a door that leads into another hotel room. So if you are staying with another group of friends or you have children or family, you can have this as an adjoining room so you can access each other's hotel rooms. But don't worry if you're not staying with anyone else, this door locks on both sides. So neither guests on either side can enter this hotel room unless you give permission or you unlock the door. Following on from this door, there is a very, very nice sized flat screen television with two American plug sockets just below. Following on from the television, there is a lovely floor lamp with plenty of light. There's not a lot of ceiling lights in this room, but there are plenty of lighting next to the bed, in the hallway, and also in the corner like I've just shown you. Next to the floor lamp is the vanity or dressing table or desk if you are here on a work trip. And on this desk, there is a telephone so you can call reception if you need to find out any information about the hotel or any needs that you may want to have sorted out for you by the concierge downstairs. Below, there is also a trash can as they say it in the states and this is very good because it does have a recycling side and a normal bin side there is also an adjustable chair if you would like to sit and do your hair and makeup or read a book or just generally sit and chill while you're having a coffee in the morning or doing some work like i said you could use this as a desk there is one more thing at the end of this video that I want to show you, but I'm going to save that till last, and it is to do with this very large window. We do have a floor to ceiling window, so I will show you that last. 
Following on from the desk, there is a very, very good sized bedside table with one drawer. I'll just show you inside the drawer. The safe is also inside there. I believe it's a digital safe, so if you want to keep your belongings in there. I believe you could fit a laptop in there, but Wayne and I aren't too bothered about using that because we do feel safe. Again, next to the bed, there is another double American plug socket, and there is also a USB port, which is amazing. They don't have them in a lot of hotels. There is also a bedside lamp, which is very well lit. And then just above the bed, there are three pictures. Sorry about the light, guys. The light isn't the best on this camera at the moment. But there are three artwork pictures which are displaying beautiful colours, so it keeps it nice and bright in here. And if I just stand back, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to fit it all in, but we have a massive, I think it's a queen-size bed. I will find out and put it on the screen here. But it's either a king-size or a queen-size, but it is absolutely huge. I haven't tested it out yet, but it looks looks really comfy with plenty of pillows for you and your partner or whoever you're staying with and this other thing I wanted to show you is when you do check into the hotel they give you complimentary cookies with the double tree logo on and I can tell you they are warm as well so Wayne and I are going to tuck in to these with a cup of tea because there is coffee making facilities I'm not sure if we can use it for tea but we will see but as you know if you've been to New York there are plenty of vendors everywhere and the next Next to the bed on the other side is another bedside table. This is a little bit different. It's just kind of a hollow table with space underneath. And there is also an alarm clock on here. And there is also another USB port with another bedside lamp. Next to the bedside table, there is a full double wardrobe. I'm just going to show you what's inside. I think Wayne and I have put our backpacks in there. Yes, we have. So there is a large shelf at the top, as you can see, which we've got our backpacks on. We will be unpacking after we film this video. And there is also an iron. And I believe on the other side, there is an ironing board. And there is also a luggage rack. And there is also some low hanging hangers for you to hang your dresses or your suits. And there is also a stand for your ironing board. There is also room to fit your suitcases, but Wayne and I just tend to live out of our suitcases. We're only here for five days. And then opposite the bed to the left hand side of the bed, there is another stand now i think this is what you could call your beverage stand on top of here is the remote for the television which just to remind you is just there there is also an ice bucket with some spare trash bags and some plastic cups for any of those beverages that you're going to have and then underneath here is a pull out coffee station there is lots of different tea bags there is a few herbal teas some coffee mate and some cafe delight sweetener and a um coffee machine now i'm hoping we can filter this with hot water so wayne can have a cup of tea in the morning and on of, of an evening we'll let you know in the vlogs if we've been successful but i think that's a really nice touch there is also two more drawers which are very good for storage so we'll probably use these for like our underwear and things like that and again there's more space for your suitcases so i'm now i'm going to show you the bathroom which is just to the left of the door to the right of the door like i said there is a very large sliding door so if i just slide this door it will take you in to a very very large bathroom now i'm not sure if this is a wet room or not i'm just going to find out from wayne wayne did you request a wet like a I wet never, accessible room i never requested a wet room but i did say on the booking that my wife has trouble standing uh, or trouble showering and will need a seat so whether they've given us this room purely for their seat or every room has a seat, I don't know. But and for anyone who doesn't know, who's just come to our channel, this is my beautiful husband, Wayne. So say hello, everyone. <laughs> say hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so yeah, Wayne did book this for us, so I'm very impressed. But I have to say, this could be classed as a wet room because the door is wide enough to fit a wheelchair in. So let's go inside and see what this bathroom has to offer. So to the right of the door, there is a very large sink and underneath the sink, there is some hand tissues, some extra toilet paper, some face cloths and some towels. On top, there is some toiletries. I do apologize about the light in here. It's not the best. I'm not sure what the brand is either. It says 
Crabtree and Evelyn. I think I've heard of that brand before. Just give you another overview of these Crabtree and Evelyn toiletries. And there is also a bar of soap. There is also a very nice size mirror. I think this is an accessible bathroom with an accessible room because the sink is very, very low. So I think they've kindly put us in an accessible room because I have noticed it's very, very low and suitable for a wheelchair. But I will find out from reception if this is a, is if this is an accessible room oh my gosh i'm so sorry we've been up since about three o'clock this morning and it's about 11 o'clock uk time so you can imagine i'm going a little bit bonkers to the left of the sink is the toilet and again the camera is not focusing but finally it has there is also a bath mat on the top of the toilet as well as two towels and a trash can on the floor and some toilet paper and just above is a very large hairdryer now ladies and gents to save some room in your suitcases for all of those ama amazing treats that you're going to take back from new york and shopping on fifth avenue don't waste the space by bringing a hairdryer just google the hotel email them and they'll let you know if they've got a decent hairdryer but yes i didn't bother bringing one there is one there for you so thank you double tree by hilton for the hairdryer now this is the shower and that's just answered my question. I didn't see that. This is an accessible room because there is a shower seat just there. So thank you Hilton, big thumbs up for giving us this room because we didn't book an accessible room but I believe as Wayne's just said he did request one. So that has kind of answered my question. This is an accessible room because there is a shower chair which is going to be amazing for me because I have a dialysis catheter that I can't get wet. And often these posh hotel rooms have these like rainfall showers and I can't stand above it. I have to sit down on the chair and hold the hose with my head um, flipped over because I can't get the catheter wet. But enough about me, I'm just gonna show you the shower very quickly. There is an adjustable shower seat just there, which is great. And it's also gonna be great for you ladies and gents if you wanna shave your legs. There's a little um, soap shelf or toiletry shelf, another handrail and a handrail there and the shower and i believe that takes us to the end of our room tour but wayne has the pierre de resistance Are you ready three two one check out that you have to zoom in four of you i'm just gonna zoom in sorry about my reflection but you can probably tell just there that that is the number one world trade center freedom tower isn't the it? freedom tower check that out for a view i do apologize wayne is standing right in front of it oh, at the sorry. moment <laughs> but as you can see we have a cracking view there's more high-rise buildings just there we are so lucky i'm not sure what this one is so please comment down below because it's got some funky lighting going on at the moment and then just here there is a view of the world trade center which is just amazing this is officially the highest building in the united states which is just insane and we have got a direct view of it so that brings this video to an end guys thank you so much for watching if you would like some complimentary cookies and a view of the world trade center then book the double tree by hilton west 40th street times square you can't go wrong thank you so much please check the description box below for the cost that we paid for this hotel any charges and any fees that you may have on arrival but as far as i'm concerned we can't go wrong and we even got complimentary breakfast because wayne and i are celebrating our 10th anniversary this year not our 10th wedding anniversary but our 10th anniversary of being a couple and we love traveling so much and they kindly gave us complimentary breakfast so thank you so much double tree by hilton we really appreciate your support thank you so much for watching guys we hope you enjoy the rest of our nyc 2022 vlogs and we will see you next week